What is up guys, Smash Beats here and welcome back to One Life. Here we are in front of our lovely tree and we have our new horse and cart here, which I actually figured out there's some more attachments we can add onto our horse, which we have named Steven, although we haven't got a name tag yet. Now we're gonna waste two diamonds on this, so this could either be great or could be terrible. Luckily we got quite a lot of diamonds. So we're gonna make this diamond hoe, put some wheels here, some bits of wood, oak fence, and we get a plow. Now, I have no idea how this works. But I'm going to head a bit far out just in case something weird happens. Plop this down there. So there's a plow. We've attached it to our horse. Okay, I think we have to... Oh, there we go. It's in the ground. And oh my gosh, it plows the ground behind you <laughs> to grow crops on. I'm not sure if I want that right now. I can see how that would be useful in some scenarios, but for me, not so useful as I've already got my giant S farm. But kind of cool nonetheless. I need somewhere for Steven to live. At the moment, Steven is just wandering around and this is not okay. So I feel it's time we make Steven a home. And in fact, I think it's time we moved these chickens and these cows and these blooming sheep as they're just loud. Let's make a new pen for them, just a bit further away. Just for now at least, as I think I'm gonna do something a bit different when it comes to this stuff, when I get round to it. Why do I keep leaving the TV on? I need to turn this off. What the heck? Right. Okay then. Did not know that did that. Okay, there we go. There's a load of fences. There we go. We've got three pens added on to the back of the farm over there. I'm gonna take the chickens first. Okay, they seem to... Oh, okay, there we go. We've got them. Come on, gang. Oh, this is crazy. Oh, no. I just realized I didn't leave anywhere for them to get through. Okay. Um, they're just going to have to wander around a second. There we go. Okay, funnel in, my lovelies. Yes, welcome to your new home. Okay, time to move the sheep. Let's see if this is as easy. Uh-oh. Okay, here we go. Yes. Okay, we got a load of them in there. Not all of them. Most of them are going to have to die. Cows. Are you going to be good cows? Holy moly, this is a lot of cows. I didn't realize how many cows I had. The blood moon is rising. Of course it is. But there we go. We've got a load of cows in there. Not all of them. Most of them just, again, didn't make it. Which is okay because I'll get all their leather. Even if I could shave them. Lovely. Oh, it's so much quieter around here now. Oh, it's beautiful because they're all over there hiding. I love it. I hate being out during a blood moon. It scares me. I should light up the top of my cauldron. I'm nervous. Oh no. Haha, <laughs> that's terrible. Poop jokes aren't funny. Let's watch a bit more TV. OMG, he totally texted me back. No way. Yes. What? I literally can't even. Me too, What is girl. this? No, like, that's I don't like it. Make it stop. Make it stop. Free experience. Free zombie flesh. There you go. Got a nice amount of zombie flesh there. Where are you off? Do you want to attack me? Okay. It's still going on. How do you turn it off? Okay, so we're going to turn this area here into where my horse stable is going to be. I need to clear all this rubbishy wood there out of the way first. Now that they're gone, there's just so much more space for activities. It's insane. Okay, let's make ourselves a horse barn. Steven. Steven! Where are you going? How dare you, young man? There's skeletons and stuff around. I want to make like a red sort of like horse barn. Luckily we got a load of this cherry wood over here and you can turn this cherry wood into red planks, which is perfect. Perfect. I don't know why my voice has started to sound like that, but there we go. We got a load of cherry wood planks we can make. I was going to use some white stained planks, vertical white stained planks, in fact, for a nice little door. We don't want this thing to be huge. He says as he's about to build something huge. More of like a cute little barn. As we're only going to have one horse in here. Probably about this size in total. And we'll have some like gates on this bit here. You know what I could use? Some white stained fences. Luckily I have some white anemones and these. They make light grey. Luckily we have the white anemones. Oh and we've got some white dye as well. Oh my axe. Give me that. Just realized this is not actually how you make white fences. Whoops. Oh, well, we can still kind of put them to good use. To actually make some white fences, we need some bone mill, which I have some bones right here, and then some fences, and bam. There we go, there's 12 white fences. I'm not sure if this is going to be enough, but we can use them anyway. Plop it in there, there. I made the achievement pretty. But wait, I thought I was already pretty. 
There we go. Now all I need is some stairs for the roof. Okay, there we go. There's a load of white stairs. Hopefully it'll be enough. Probably won't. There we go. Just need some white stained planks now and we're all done. I'm gonna place a load of torches on this just to make sure no mobs spawn on top of it. Lovely. And to do that over there as well. But I can't be bothered right now. Ow. Nice. Okay, let's light up the inside as well as it's a bit dark in here. And I need a few fence gates. Hmm, where are my gates at? Plop that on there. Dig all the way up to there. Nice. A cute little barn. Steven, would you like to follow me? Just kidding. I'm going to take you right into here. There you go, Steven. Get comfortable. I'll park up his cart just outside and his plow on the other side. Lovely. I like it a lot. Now, last time Lizzie gave me this bucket of ichor to grow some never wart with. Now, I have some never wart, and I think I have some soul sand. I'm pretty sure I collected some. Yes, we do. Brilliant. So, I want to make a place where we could start growing this, but I want it to be kind of secret. But at the same time, look magnificent, and I mean magnificent. And I had an idea. It's quite a complex idea, but I think if we pull it off, it'll look great. What we're going to need is we're going to need a load of dirt, and we're going to need a load of grass. And maybe a bit of cobblestone as well. Now my aim is to build some floating islands. I want to build them like kind of out the water here. And I'm going to have like a nice path. I'm thinking like a rainbow path up to them. Or maybe I should have it above here. I could have a couple of rainbow islands and have the path split off. The path could start here and yeah, go up there. That'd be really cute. But we need to actually build the island first. I want it to be reasonably high, about this high. Maybe a bit higher. Try that high. Yes. We've got a load of dirt for this. And luckily, because it's right in the water, I can just jump off. No problem. Not take too much damage. It's going to look like a proper island. Just floating in the air. I'm going to do like the stone underneath it to make it look like it's just been pulled up out of the surface. Placed here randomly. And of course, I'm going to have to do the water streaming down into there. That'd be lovely. Plop that in the middle so the grass starts growing on this thing. I want a load of smooth stone, so I'm going to smelt a load of this cobble. And while that is smelting, I'm going to work on the steps. I'm thinking of doing shingle steps. Maybe concrete would be better, yes. Definitely. So we're going to need some like red concrete powder. We're just going to need a load of sand and gravel, basically. Do we have much? No. Fairly about a gravel. But I think we need to collect more. Okay, let's collect a load of this sand from in here. Okay, here we go. We got a stack and a half of each. Now all we need is loads of different colours. Now we want probably one of each colour concrete in colour order. So we need some red dye, of course. Easy enough. Orange, yellow, lime green. We got cactus green, we got cyan, we got light blue, we got lapis, aka normal blue. Make some purple, then we got magenta and pink. And I think that's everything. Now all we need to do is make one of each colour, like so. There we go. Then we got to turn this into actual concrete by putting water on top of it. Honestly, this stuff looks nicer as powder than it does when you actually turn it into concrete. It's a shame, really, but it's got to be done. There we go. All nice and colourful. Okay, the grass is spreading out nicely. There is our destination. That's what we want to get to. Let's start from down here. Please tell me this has worked out absolutely perfectly. It basically has. There we go. Look at that. Got a nice stairway up to the top now. Heal up quickly. Did a lot of falling while building that. So yeah, we take up these stairs here, all the way up to our island. Bam, lovely. Okay, let's light this up slightly. That's awesome. Easy to get down, to run all the way down. Awesome, That's I'm really happy with that. Link it to the main road, and we're good. I love how much we've done to our land this episode so far. Our area is starting to really take shape. Now I need to do the underneath of the island. I've smelted all this stone in here. I want to make it look very realistic. Okay, I need a little bit more cobblestone, and I'm also going to make a peridot block, like so, as I want to put it right at the bottom of the island. I think that looked quite cool. Grass is coming along nicely up here. Plop my peridot down there. There we go. Actually, I'm not going to remove that oof, just yet, as I've got another idea using my deco craft bench here. I'm gonna make a load of these different rainbow colored lanterns. As underneath the island, it's very dark. And I don't like that because it kind of makes everything else under here dark. So if I get some dirt, plop a lantern there, turn it on, and then we can make this place just look a bit lighter. There we go, that's looking good. 
nice and lit up now underneath, doesn't look really dark. Pretty much a success, I'd say. If only the peridot glowed, that'd be perfect. I know I said I'm gonna hide this Ikor thing, but I don't think I really need to. Lizzie hid hers, but everyone knows where it is instantly anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Instead, I think I'm gonna put like a cute little blaze on top of there, like made out of wool. Which means I need some yellow dye. And I don't actually have many yellow flowers. I'm going to go collect some dandelions right now. Luckily, dandelions are very easy to collect. That'll probably do. We're going to dye some of our sheep yellow. Bam, 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 bam. There we go. Eight. Where are my shears? I just remembered. I need wither bones to make a golden bone hoe. And I don't have any wither bones. Let's hope someone is selling wither bones at spawn. There we go, we got some wool. Let's see if anyone's selling wither bones or a golden bone hoe. If they are, I'm gonna buy it, unless it's like 64 diamonds. Because if then, I'm gonna ask to borrow Lizzie's. Okay, what's this person selling here? Nothing. What the heck? This stuff is so nice. I'm guessing this is selling dyes. It is selling dyes. What diamond for all that dye? That's quite a lot. Open for business. It's a potion shop. No golden bone hoe. Scott's general store. He's selling never what? But I want to grow my own. No wither bones. What is this? Don't know. Well, I'll ask Lizzie if I can borrow hers in a little bit. I can just put the foundations down for now. Now for this blaze, I'm going to build it probably about this high. I'm going to need a little bit more yellow wool, but also some black wool and some pink wool. But I only need two of each, so I might just dye these myself. Two pink. I need some ink sacks. Luckily, I spot some squid. The joys of living next to an ocean. Come here, squid. Two ink sacks, perfect. The exact amount I needed. Boom, two black wool. There, and there, kawaii cheeks. Now all I need some yellow wool to finish off those little floaty leg things that it has. There we go, look at that, isn't that adorable? Who knew blazes could be so cute? Now this bucket of ichor, I'm not entirely sure what it does. Ugh, look at it, it's all blood-like. So I can't hoe the ground next to it. The liquid right around there, I could eventually get my nether warts around there. That could be quite cool. So I'll get the soul sand, but I can't hoe it right now, unfortunately. So once I get the hoe, I can put the nether warts on there. I think that'd be quite nice. I'm going to decorate that little island with some stuff. Maybe I could add a tree. No, I'm not going to add a tree. Although I could add like a funky colored tree, like a orange sapling, pink cherry as well, maybe. That could be quite cute. Of course, had to do the water falling down. I just think it makes islands look really cute when you do that sort of thing. Please don't grow massive. The cherry sapling over here. Don't grow too big. Decent. It looks like a little shrine. And we can bone mill the floor a little bit as well. Ooh, I could add some flowering vines coming off the edge. That could be nice. Also going to add a few of these flowers around. Look at that. The island is looking mega cute. Perfect place to grow our never warts. No one would ever think something as cute as that would be a never wart island. <laughs> but if they find out, then it's fine. They can steal it. Don't steal it. I'm joking. Please don't steal it. Please don't steal it. Please don't steal it. But looking good. I'm very happy with that little island. Looks really cool from down here as well. A success if I do say so myself. Now, my plan is to add like a little footpath off here. Maybe some glass multicolored glass going off and we have another floating island over there another one on the other side over there and maybe one just somewhere over there as well just to have like a load of floating islands around i think it look really cute and then we can have another path down somewhere as well just so it makes it more convenient getting up but i think i'm going to do that on stream on sunday so make sure to tune in then and i will try and start building some more islands which you guys can help me choose what i put on them but for now guys that's going to be it for this episode make sure to leave a like and comment if you did enjoy this video and let me know in the comments down below what you think of my new island and my new horse barn as well until next time thank you for watching goodbye